Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thursday, November 9, 2023, Young and the Restless spoilers indicate that several characters will be affected by Victor Newman's disloyalty revelation. Highlights from the spoilers for The Young and the Restless we have a decision to make for Nick Newman. Nate Hastings is a difficult person for Victoria Newman to win over. It's complex, but Mamie Johnson's wish might come true if Nate leaves Newman Enterprises. To find out what's coming ahead, continue reading. The excited and the uneasy warnings about spoilers Nick Newman will once again find himself at a crossroads, according to Thursday, November 9 spoilers for Crossroads by and R. Victor who appeared to have memory issues, is the reason for this this time. Victor explained that he had to be aware of who to believe and who not to. Maybe this time though Victor went too far. Nick is going to be faced with a decision, while Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, battles her unyielding husband's alienation of his children. From this point on, where will Nick go? Victoria Newman loses in Y and R spoilers, on Thursday, November 9, viewers can anticipate seeing Victoria and Nate argue. The mental games the Newman family plays with each other have finally got to Nate's nerves. Although Nate believes he was the one most targeted and attacked, he feels that he had no hidden agenda. Even after he leaves Newman Enterprises, Victoria still desires Nate to be a partner. But given everything that had transpired, Nate is not likely to want to pursue their romance. Christine Blair's Boundaries, The Young and the Restless Spoilers There will be boundaries between Christine Cricket Blair and Danny Romolotti, according to Thursday, November 9 spoilers for The Young and the Restless. Christine had a talk with Nina Webster prior to this. In order to establish some personal limits, Christine will now go up to Danny. Danny could wind up returning to Phyllis Summers, depending on what these restrictions are. Thursday, November 9th teasers for Y and R. Additionally, viewers may witness Chance Chancellor's fate on Thursday, November 9. Chance was taken to the hospital following the shooting. Chance didn't open his eyes when Nina received the frightening call and hurried to his side. Chance appears to be alive as images from later show him sitting up. That being said, Summer Newman and Sharon Rosales will have to confront their emotions and anxieties surrounding Chance. Spoilers and updates for the young and the restless Kent Chance Chancellor, the daughter of Nina Webster, will surprise her, but not in the way you might expect. She receives a call from the hospital informing her that Chance has been shot as she is meeting up with Christine Williams, an old friend and occasional rival. The young and the restless spoilers, Chance Chancellor just started working as the police chief of Geno City. The position had been vacant for some time due to Paul Williams' retirement and relocation. Chance made a decision after finishing all of his former partner, Ray Rosales' unsolved cases, even though he knew he would miss being a detective in the field. He chose to accept the promotion, despite the fact that he and Abby Newman Abbott's marriage had ended, and that they shared custody of Dominic Newman Abbott Winters Chancellor. Chance reasoned that it would be safer to work as the chief of police, primarily in an administrative capacity and at a desk. That obviously wasn't the case because he was shot in the chest and rendered unconscious. By and R spoilers, Nina Webster rushes over while staying calm. Remaining composed, Nina asks how serious it is before running over to discover her kid unconscious and covered in bandages that appear to be from a chest wound. Chance is connected to a heart monitor and appears to be in recovery. He may be comatose due to post-operative anesthetic. The bullet has already been extracted. Despite the worry on her expression, it appears like Christine is still in a restaurant. He had previously been thought to be killed while on a mission abroad. Understandably, the trauma of witnessing his teen's death before his eyes healed slowly, but he had been returning to normal duty for almost a year at this point. Spoilers for the young and the restless. Sharon Rosales gets called in. Nina contacts Sharon Rosales, 
the person Chance has been seeing, even though their relationship isn't serious yet. Chance and Ray's widow grew close, and soon others find out. Although Chance appears to be in a coma, possibly one that was put there to help his body heal, those who are close to him are extremely worried. But as Sharon's visit and summon humans, who had been depending on him lately, attested, he's not in such a bad way that only his family can see him. None is aware that Chance is in a decent place, even if he is comatose, because he is not being kept away from family members, and is in a regular room rather than an ICU. It implies that he will heal on schedule and that rest is necessary for his body to do so. While Chance's bullet wound may not have been the shot heard round the globe, would have it moved fast around Geno's city? And if you watched closely toward the end of the November 8 show, you would have noted that Summer reacted strongly when Sharon informed her that Nina's son had been shot. As Alison Lenier, who plays Summer, puts it, it's a moment that changes things. She and Chance had been growing close for some time now. They definitely have chemistry together, and they joke around a lot. However, the actress claims that Summer kind of realizes how much he's come to mean to her when she visits her friend in the hospital and witnesses him fighting for his life. She had ample cause to keep whatever thoughts she might have been harboring for the handsome man hidden up until now. Lenia informs us she is aware that Chance and Sharon are seeing each other or are dating. Therefore, it appears as though her subconscious has been preventing her from experiencing the emotions she may normally feel, or it hadn't been up until this point. She goes on, all of a sudden, things start to come to the surface. She clearly feels something for him now that this has happened. It kind of ignites a fire within of her. But this summer isn't the same summer that cheerfully stirred up mischief a few years ago. Lenia notes, she's had such a crazy year. Being the source of another person's suffering is the last thing Summer wants in her own life, having watched her mother create a lot of drama. She will therefore battle with these brand new emotions. However, Lenia chuckles, she might not be as successful at keeping them repressed as she might hope to. The fire has started, albeit it may burn a little slowly at first. Knowing Summer, it won't go out quickly either. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Which storyline are you looking forward to seeing the most on Thursday, November 9? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Remember to keep watching the soak find out what happens next. Be sure to catch up on everything happening with Y and R right now. Come back often for the young and the restless spoilers, news and updates.